It happened in my mom's house. It lasted about an hour. I don't know. Maybe he was there for my brothers. I don't know. We weren't together then, but he was there. I can tell you to this day, I know the exact way I felt and like the pain and everything, how I felt. I made him hold my hand when it was hurting. I felt it in my butt and chow. I don't know how I felt it there. I didn't even know where it was at. I squeezed very hard. I probably put my nails in his skin. I wouldn't say it was a 10. I literally was walking around like I was a new woman. And as you can see, I did it over and over and over again. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss none of my videos. Make sure you tap in the all settings so that you get every video. As you guys read by the title, we will be talking about my first time. But before we get into that, I know it's been a minute since I've been on here. It's been like a week, maybe two weeks. Um, I feel like I just had to get my mind right and just get my thoughts together. If you guys hear like, background noise it's because i'm in the car but the windows are down i didn't want to have the air on trying to distract y'all so i don't know if that's going to be a distraction too don't mind it though but you know i'm just i'm glad to be back and feeling better um this is a part of healing you know what i'm saying i'm feeling good today i could be feeling bad tomorrow but i'm not gonna say that i know i'm gonna feel good tomorrow anyway we're gonna be doing a story time slash mukbang I got Ziano's. I got breadsticks, cause they bomb. If you know, you know. And then let me put y'all on. So I get shrimp fettuccine pesto or shrimp alfredo pesto. And I add chicken. But, um, yeah, real bomb. Real, real, real bomb. So shrimp and chicken alfredo pesto. And some water which i left it wait i didn't leave it i got some water too you know i'm trying to be a little healthier this year not trying to drink pop and stuff like that but anyway let's get into the video so you guys may be thinking what first time is this girl talking about uh-uh we finna get the tea we finna get the juice yes ma'am because i ain't never told this story before I'm gonna be telling you guys about who it like who was there because obviously you know the person was there <laughs> how long it was I'm gonna tell you guys how long it was and all that so anyway I'm cheesing this food good though so it happened in 2015 no 2016 happened in 2016 I'm sorry y'all, I'm cheesing too hard. I should have told them to add mozzarella. Anyway. Um, it happened at my mom's house. And Davi was there, obviously. <laughs> so yeah, it lasted about an hour. To, I don't know couple, maybe two hours I don't know but anyway when I got my first tattoo I had two placements it was either gonna go on my arm or on my leg I chose my leg um which it's cute there but I'm gonna add on to it shit shit keeps falling <laughs> he came to do a tattoo for me my mom my brother my dad um my 18th birthday was like the next day or the next monday it was on the weekend but yeah i got it for my 18th birthday i got it on my thigh the tattoo i got was like it was a symbol for good luck. And I got it because I was turning 18, you know, and it's like good luck on your new journey to life because you know, I'm about to graduate. 
no more high school no more really like childish I guess like moves I guess but anyway that's what I got it for Davi was there I don't know if I told him I was getting one but he was at my house so I don't know maybe he was there for my brothers I don't know we weren't together then but he was there I can tell you to this day I know the exact way I felt and like the pain and everything how I felt for my first time it's so weird I can always remember my first time getting a tattoo they breath is so bomb y'all but yeah I don't know if he was there the whole time but I made him hold my hand when it was hurting because like that's what you do you squeeze something when something hurts so I made him hold my hand good. like I said it took like an hour maybe two not that long at least I don't remember but yeah he sat there and held my hand and everything for me he was gentle I squeezed very hard I probably put my nails in his skin cause like the pain from the side cause I got on my thigh obviously the pain like I felt it in my butt and I was like I don't know if I'm supposed to feel it there, but that hurt. So, he sat there with me, let me squeeze and everything. I got a break or whatever, and mom was like, he gonna take care of you. That boy, you could tell he a gentleman, he love you or whatever she was saying. And you know, I'm just sitting there like, yeah, yeah, mom. <laughs> just sitting there talking to me and stuff. And so yeah, I did it. I got me a little cute size tattoo. I'm gonna try and insert a picture. I don't think I got a picture of my tattoo. I'm gonna try and insert a picture or whatever. But first time pain though, I wouldn't say it was a 10. Then again, I do have a high pain tolerance. I don't know. It might be my pain tolerance. My pain tolerance might have went down after having kids, though. I ain't gonna lie. It's so weird after having kids. So much stuff changes. Y'all, I dyed my fingers blue. Not these ones, but these ones. These four black and blue or whatever it's like staying now but it's irritating me but yeah the pain was more like a a six to a nine no the pain was more like a six to an eight for me because it was my first time and like i said I felt it in my butt and chow. I don't know how I felt it there. I ain't even where it was at. That's not where the needle was at. The needle was literally on my thigh. It went smooth though. When it was over, I was happy. I literally was walking around like I was a new woman. It was in May, right before my birthday. So, you know, the weather was nice. People started wearing nice clothes and stuff. Less clothes. And and I thought my tattoo was just so cute. So, you know what I'm saying? I was wearing shorts 
whatever. Um, I was wearing holes in my jeans. I was making holes on the sides of my jeans. Like, I wasn't really too pressed about it, though. It's like, I wasn't trying to show it off, but, like, it was my tattoo, you know what I'm saying? I wanted that motherfucker to breathe. And as you can see, I did it over and over and over again. I'm about to do it again. About to get me another tattoo. I think I want to get one before I leave. Before I move. Shrimp. Noodle. Chicken. We need to add more noodles. Bomb. Do y'all know what Ziano's is? They, for some reason, they broccoli be a little like hard. Most restaurants, they don't like they. It's like they steam it. They don't actually cook it, cook it. Mm. It's an Italian restaurant, if you can't tell. Forgot to tell y'all that. Full already. Would I recommend it based off my first time? Yeah. Now placements, I don't know. You gotta figure that one out on your own because I'm not gonna lie, the one on my arm hurt, but that's because they had used the new needle, not them little thick ones, but like the real tiny ones where you can do real good extra work that everybody getting done now. She had used one of those needles on my arm, so it was like more sharp mm. Mm. but yeah I'd recommend it pain and all considering I'd recommend it they're doing work down there and they being loud I'm doing full y'all I'm trying to get back thick out here, y'all. I'm eating pasta, chicken. I'm eating everything. Everything that I usually eat anyway. Like pasta, chicken. I've been trying to eat more seafood. I up the fruits and vegetables. Just trying to look healthy again. Everybody, whenever they see me, they're like, wow, you got skinny. I'm like, yeah. It's happened like four times now. <laughs> when I overeat, though, child... I get full and tired. Let me know what other kind of story times y'all want to see from me. I'll gladly do them. I like mukbangs, they cool. Y'all, my lashes is growing. They used to be so tiny, like, tiny like the bottom ones. They touch up here. If you know me, you know I don't got lashes. And they itch. I think it's because they're growing. What I've been doing to them? A little bit of Vaseline. Nothing else. <laughs> I stopped wearing fake lashes, though. Not fake lashes, but... Like the individuals. The ones you gotta take care of for like three weeks. Yeah. Cause I don't take care of them. They start falling out the first, second week, and I don't take care of them, and they just rip my lashes out. So yeah, drop some video suggestions down in the comment section, y'all. I know my energy a little low, it's because I could be taking a nap with the kids right now, but I'm doing a video. I'm just a little busy, so you know, the energy kind of low. I need a Red Bull. I hope you're all having a positive day though. Make someone happy, make yourself happy first. Make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves and stretching and and drinking water and eating right. Doing all that good stuff. Go enjoy some sun too. The sun is natural medicine if you didn't know. It's like 60 degrees over here, it feels good. I 
I'm gonna go wash my hands, see if I can get some more of this out. And so, ooh. Thanks for tuning in or tuning back in. I'll try to be back with another mukbang slash story time or story time slash get ready with me. I know you guys like these and enjoy these or just like day to day nail talks. So I'll try and come back with some more this week. My poor face was breaking out while I was stressed out. So I really did stay off the camera for a little bit, but I'm back feeling better. So you know what I'm saying? We back in action. I also have some news for you guys. I was going to call it bad news, but it's not bad news. It's still good news. It's just news for you guys. I'll put that in my next video because, I mean, yeah. You'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.